Hey, how's it going everyone? So, today we are going to take a look at a special print uh, out of the Anacubic Photon and it is a print that I created as part of the demo uh, quick start guide for the new Chi2 box slicer slash support making software so exciting stuff as you can see safety first mask gloves good to go uh, let's take a look So that print looks like it came out pretty nice. Now let's get this sucker out and we'll take a better look at it. Alright, so yeah, looks like a good print guys. So this is supposed to be a skull of a uh, eagle uh, and it's a model that I found of uh, my mini factory and I will link the model so you guys can uh, download it. And it's a pretty nice model and it's got tons of little overhangs and thin parts so this support that I used to uh, to do this was from the new Chidu box and yeah quite honestly it's done a pretty phenomenal job of delivering a good print Hopefully this is all in focus. Our camera's a bit shite sometimes. It's a pretty tall print. Uh, for the photon anyway. It took about 11 hours to do. So I am going to remove the, uh, the print and then we'll take a better look at it. Alright guys, so I have taken the uh, print off the print bed. Uh, whoop. <laughs> so you can see some of these supports already started pulling, uh, popping off. Um, that doesn't mean that uh, it wasn't doing anything for the print because you can see the print came out perfect. Um, it's just the way that the new Chi2 support is set up with the sphere interface it just makes it really easy to uh, remove the supports once the print's finished so taking a closer look at it I mean yeah looks really good so let's see if we can focus in here I'm not sure how uh, how good you're going to see this, but you can see the tiny little sphere on the tip of the support. So this allows for really easy removal of the actual support without chipping uh, or or you know damaging the actual print. So I'm just going to pick one of these. Ah, oh, okay, obviously these are stuck to the bottom here, so, alright, let's uh, try that. So I'm just using gentle finger pressure here. There we go. Cool. So you can see the ones that, uh, that were already on there that popped off. These are the nice little uh, interface support marks that uh, you know you will need to remove afterwards, but they are much much better than your typical uh, support marks that you're going to get. It's they are really easy and simple to remove. So I'm just going to. So you can see the supports pretty much just pull off. And I'm not damaging the print as I'm pulling off the supports, right? 
that's the great thing about this sphere interface look at that so it just pulls right off but you can see there's no damage to the print you just have these little spheres that you need to send off or uh, cut off with an exacto knife afterwards but it leaves a really nice surface finish so a little bit of fusing going on here so I will need to snip these off with my trusty god hand clone and yeah these just pop right off yeah pop right off and you see the photon actually done a pretty good job at printing this tiny thin little bone here that's part of the model <laughs> I'm impressed. Uh, see if we can. Yep. So these, look at that, these pop right off. Now, if you remember, these bottom ones have a triple uh, triangular base support. So they are a little bit harder to break off. So I generally just use my snippers for these. and then go back in afterwards and then clean them up so just a broad overall removal of supports now you may think that these because they're popping off so easily they're not doing anything but the fact that the print printed perfectly uh, shows that they are doing it <laughs> They're supposed to be doing what they're, what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, this, the support worked. None of the supports broke off during printing, which is, uh, you know, you'll often find some of the supports may snap during the print. And if that happens, then yeah, obviously the supports won't be supporting anything and uh, you're going to have failures pop right off love it uh, okay so it's a little bit cumbersome for me to do this while the camera's in my face so I'm probably going to pause this video but okay here's a good example you can probably see the tiny little sphere that's in front of the cone or tip of the uh, support so if I try and break this off with just finger force there you go so this is exactly what this new support system is supposed to do the main support breaks off and the sphere is left onto the part which uh, is easily cleaned up afterwards so really good stuff all right so i'm going to pause the video and uh, let me remove the rest of the support hey guys so welcome back now I have gone through and uh, cleaned up the print uh, in my ultrasonic cleaner and it's been sitting under my curing station for about 10-5 minutes um, so yeah this is the final print I guess it turned out very well uh, it's a cool little scan and it's a skeleton of uh, some sort of hawk I think it's about 70% scale down um, just wouldn't fit in the photon unfortunately at the original size but still a cool little print 
So the supports did an amazing job. Uh, it was orientated like this. So all these little bones, very thin parts, came out pretty nice. Uh, one thing I like everybody to notice is, there you go, so these are the leftover uh, contact points, sphere contact points from the supports. Now you may be thinking, oh that's super ugly, well that's because I haven't gone through and sanded it yet. So, um, the benefits of, uh, you know, having a predictable result from your support is that you know exactly how you're going to uh, work with uh, with the model in your post process. There is no magic bullet, but if you can sort of nail down your workflow, it just makes it so much quicker and easier. So these will be centered off uh, quite easily. And And if we look at the rest of the print, so again, these are the little support marks. So it is an option to turn these on and off. So if you don't like these, then just switch it off. Uh, I, I like these personally. I think they are fantastic. Just makes the post process so much more predictable and easier. Alright guys, so I just wanted to quickly show you uh, a before before and after sanding so I just spent like two or three minutes uh, removing these little uh, support pots on this side and yeah I mean they're pretty easy to remove um, and sand down so I use my clippers and exacto knife um, I'll probably look at getting some rounded edge ones. Uh, these are a little bit too like the pointy for uh, for cutting off the supports on an angle, like in tight spaces. So yeah, if you do have the rounded blades, uh, try and use those. Um, I've also done a quick sand on the back here as well. There's a wet wet sand. And you can see it clings up nicely. So I won't be painting this today. Um, I'm going to go through and yeah, maybe spend you know an hour or so just cleaning up the prints, and um, we'll give it a uh, coat of paint afterwards as well. But I'm going to leave you with a little turntable of the model as it is, uh, pretty much straight off the printer. Cool. So I hope you guys. Uh, like this little breakdown um, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe check out my full tutorial quick start video on the new Chitterbox printer uh, Chitterbox slicer and how I made the supports for this um, skeleton here alrighty so happy making and we'll see you next time